हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर लर्निंग डेसिमल चैप्टर्स एक्सरसाइज नंबर 8.2 एज प्रीवियस क्लास वी सीन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 8.1 नाउ वी आर सीइंग 8.2 सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन ऑन द बुक दिस इज एक्सरसाइज नंबर 8.2 द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट द टेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस बॉक्सेस एंड यूज डेसिमल टू राइट द नंबर हियर आर गिवन सम पिक्चर्स नाउ बिलो देयर इज अ टेबल बाय सीइंग दिस पिक्चर यू कैन राइट कंप्लीट द टेबल सो दिस फुल बॉक्स मींस 100 One total line is ten. Second total line is again ten. So ten, twenty. So this full box means hundred. So the first line, second line, third line in this way. So by saying this, you can fill the blanks which is below. So this question is there on a page number textbook page number one seventy three. Now below here is a table. Now first question if you see A B. There is no hundred. So in this way, there is zero ones. So one, there is no ones. That is a column. Full box is not completed. There are two tens, two lines are there, and six hundred, six small dots, and the number will become zero point two six. One second, I will show you. You will come to understand that. The box. I will show you one second, so you will understand here. This full box means one. This full box means one. This is one tenth, two tenth in this way, and this is hundreds, the small dots. So two tenths and six hundreds. So let's see the box and complete the table. So there are full two lines. If you see the textbook, you will come to know there are two full lines. And six small dots, so the total number is zero point two six. Second question, if you see, this is one full box. It means it is completed one. And these are the three lines, means three tens. And these numbers are eight, so eight hundreds, so one point three eight. Third question, full box means one, total one. There are two lines, tens and small six hundreds, so eight hundreds, so one point two eight. Next question. Now here is given. Write the number given in the following. Place the value table in decimal form. Hundreds, tens, ones, tenth, hundred, thousand. The so first is given. Zero hundred, zero tenths, three ones, and two tenths, five hundreds, and zero thousand. So you have to write that in expanded form. Hundred zero ten also zero. How many ones? Three ones. So three multiplied by one plus two ten. Two multiplied by one upon ten. So you can write this directly also. And hundred five multiplied by one upon hundred or thousands zero. So when you write this, so three point two five zero or three point two five. You can expand it form. You can write it. Otherwise, you can write directly. So this will become three point two five zero because three ones. Now second one hundred zero ten and two ones. So this is one hundred two point six three zero or six three. Second one, second one directly I am giving you answers. Second one one hundred two point six three zero. 102.630. In the last one, put the zero. No problem. If you not put the zero, no problem. Now this C one, 30.025. 30.025. Because hundred is not there. Ones, tens and ones, 30. Here is point because it is ten. Zero two five. Next, 211.902. Next, 12.241. Now we will see that on the board answers. Two hundred eleven point nine zero two, twelve point two four one. Next question, question number three. Now here the question is given. Write the following decimal in the place value table. This is the place value table. These are the decimal: zero point two nine, two point zero eight, nineteen point six zero. 148.32 and 200.812. So we have to make the table this. 
hundreds, tens, ones, tenth decimal after first digit will become tenth. Second digit will comes in hundreds. Third digit will comes in thousands. So the first question zero point two nine. There is no hundreds. There is no tens. There is no ones. But tenth is there and hundred is there. So two nine here and nothing is means zero. So it became zero point two nine in the tens place. Hundred place zero. Tens place zero. Ones place zero. This is tenth position. It is tenth and this is ninth hundreds position. Next question. 2.08 zero hundreds zero tens ones there are two in a tens plus tens plus there is zero and in hundred plus eight next question nineteen point six zero there are zero hundreds one tens nine ones point six tens zero hundreds and thousand means nothing in zero next one forty eight point three two one hundred four tens eight ones point three tens and Two hundred and here is zero. Last one. Two hundred point eight one two. Two hundred zero tens zero ones eight tens one hundred and two thousands. Okay, dear. Understand this number. One upon ten here you can write two upon ten. This nine upon hundred. In this way you can convert this. Next. Question number four. Write each of the following as a decimal. It is given in expanded form. You have to write in the decimal. So this is twenty plus nine plus four upon ten plus one upon hundred. Twenty plus nine twenty nine. As the fraction started, as the fraction started, it means it is coming after the decimal. It will come after the decimal. So twenty nine point four one. Twenty nine point four one. As the fraction number started, that will become in the decimal after the decimal. This is four upon ten means first digit. One upon hundred means second digit. Now here one thirty seven point. Here is five upon hundred. Tenth tenth is absent. So in that place you have to write is zero. So this is one thirty seven point zero five. One thirty seven point zero five. Here. Integer is not there, so that is all will be coming at points. So zero point seven six four, zero point seven six four, twenty three point two zero six. Why two zero six? After tens, hundreds, hundreds is absent. So that in the place you have to write is zero. So two hundreds is absent. Zero six, twenty three point two zero six. Because after ten, here is direct thousand. And it is not there. Whichever the number is absent in that place, you have to put a zero. Here tenth is absent, so we put a zero here. One thirty seven point zero five in this way. Here hundred is absent, so you have to put a zero. Twenty three point two zero six. Next number seven hundred twenty five point zero nine. Why zero nine? Two seven hundred twenty five point zero nine. Why? Because tenth. Position is absent, so in that place you have to put a zero. Hundred is present, nine. So seven twenty five point zero nine. Next. Question number five. Write each of the following decimal in words. The number is given in decimal. You have to write in the words. You have to write in the words. Which number name? So how you will write zero point zero three? The number is at zero point zero three. It is one point two zero, one hundred eight point five six, ten point zero seven, zero point zero three two, five point zero zero eight. We have to write that in a verse. You have to write that in a verse. See, first question zero point zero three. It is written in a words. We are explain there. Now next question, question number six. Now question number six. What is the question number six? Between which two numbers is tens place on the number line? Does each of the following given number lies? So here is zero point zero six. Zero six means it lies is nearest to zero point one. If you see the number line, uh, please come on the board. Uh, so I will show on the board here. 
If you see the word scale, on scale you know here is zero and here is suppose one. So between here how many numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It is one. If you see it is zero and this is one between there are ten numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So this first number is 0.1. Second number is 0.2. Third number is 0.3. Fourth number is 0.4. This is 0.5. This is 0.6. It is 0.7. This is 0.8. This is 0.991. If you see, between this 0 and 0.1, again there are 10 numbers. Again there are 10 numbers. It is One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is ten. If you see between this zero and this zero point one, again there are ten numbers. So this first one is zero point zero one. Second one is zero point zero two. This is zero point zero three. This is zero point zero four. This is zero point zero. Five. This is zero point zero six. This is zero point zero seven. This is zero point zero eight, and this is zero point zero nine. Afterwards, it becomes zero point one. Zero point one. Please pay attention. Zero to one. This is our number. In this number, there are ten small numbers, ten millimeters, ten small millimeters. In that again, micro millimeters will become mini millimeters. So between this zero and zero point one, again if you see this is zero and zero point one, again this many numbers are there. This every single number between you will see ten ten small numbers. So come here again. So this zero point zero six it is coming where it will become between zero point zero six is nearest to zero point one. Zero point one as I shown here. Now next zero point four five. The 0.45 is nearest to 0.5. It will become between 0.4 and 0.5. Between it will become 0.4 and 0.5. It will become between 0.4 and 0.5. So nearest it is nearest to 0.5. Now this 0.19. It will become 0.1 and 0.2. It will become between 0.1 and 0.2. So 0.19 is nearest to 0.2. It is nearest to 0.2. Next number zero point six six. The zero point six six will come between zero point six and zero point seven. I am talking about zero point six and zero point seven. Between that it will become so six six. It is near 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 to what zero point seven. So it will be near to zero point seven. Next zero point nine two. This zero point nine two will come between zero point nine and one. Zero point nine and one. So zero point nine two is nearest to zero point nine. And last one, zero point five seven. Zero point five seven lies between zero point five and zero point six. Zero point five and zero point six. So this is zero point five seven is nearest to zero point six. Zero point six. Now next question. The question number seven. Right. Fraction in lowest term, 0.60. It is a decimal number. You have to write in a fraction. So after decimal, how many digits? Two digits. So it means you have to plus 100. If two digits are there, so below that you have to plus 100. If one digit is there, that they have to plus 10. So here you have to plus below 100. So it became 60 upon 100. This became 0.5. 5 upon 100. This became 7.55, 7.5, 0.75. So 75 upon 100. This is 0.18, 18 upon 100. This is 0.25, 25 upon 100. This is 0.125. Three digits so below you have to write three zeros. So 125 upon 1000. Why? Because after this one three digits are there. So below you have to write thousand. Now this is 0.066. Again three digits. So thousand. Now we will see in the next page. You have to write in a fraction and convert into lowest term. Afterwards, you have to convert into lowest term. Now, the first question: zero point zero six 
after decimal two digits, that's why you have to put here hundred. So sixty upon hundred, twenty three is a twenty five. The lowest term is three upon five. If you see the next question, zero point zero five, after decimal two digits, so you have to put a hundred. So five upon hundred, five ones are five twenty ones, so one upon twenty. Next, if you see zero point seven five, after decimal two digits are there, so below you have to write a hundred. Decimal we are writing in a fraction. When you write decimal in a fraction, see the decimal point. After decimal point, how many digits are there? That means zeros you have to write below. Means ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand in this way. One digit is there, ten. Two digits are there, hundred. Three digits are there, thousand. In a denominator. So zero point seven five became seventy five upon hundred. Twenty five three is a twenty five four is a three upon four. Reducing form, lowest form. Zero point one eight is equal to eighteen upon hundred. Two nines are two fifties are nine upon fifty. Zero point two five twenty five upon hundred twenty five hundred twenty five four are now three digits are there. That's why we put here thousand. So zero point one two five became one hundred twenty five upon thousand. One twenty five ones are one twenty five eights are now last question zero point zero six six. So sixty six upon thousand. Why thousand? Because after decimal three digits. So three zeros. So two thirty three is a two five nine. So two thirty three upon five nine. So here we conclude the exercise number eight point two. We seen all the seven questions one by one. So please carefully you also see the video. You also see the video and practice at home. In next class we will take exercise number eight point three. That is very small. So it will be take hardly five to seven minutes. Okay. Thank you. Bye.